welcome back to a new studio vlog. I've had quite a lot of wedding work to get on with, so I've been doing that, which means that the studio has been a little bit neglected. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I'm uh, experimenting with lots of different mediums at the moment. So I was just in my sketchbook the other day, playing around with the green idea and just like painting it and having a bit of fun with it. This is the state of the studio. All this down here needs tidying up because I am having some friends over later and we're gonna do an art evening, an evening of painting, drawing, and then I'm gonna set up like a bit of a still life and we're gonna just go from there. So I'm just gonna tidy the studio and set it up for a lovely evening of art. Today I am planning my next project. First project that I've done in the studio was Project Green. And now I'm gonna do Project Yellow. This is the outfit that I'm going with. Ta-da! I actually made this about three or four years ago. If you go back in my videos on my channel, you'll see me making this. Um, it took me about a week to make. I originally started sewing on each individual sunflower and then about a week in I got to the point where I was like I cannot keep sewing my fingers are hurting it took a lot of a lot of thread and a lot of power to get through these because they're quite hard so on the front it was sewn on and on the back I decided just to glue it and it was so much quicker and I wish I'd just done that from the beginning but I created a few images with this and I was really happy at the time, but now looking back, I feel like I could have just done so much different things. And I think we always think that as artists, but it's just, I, I just always kept it because it was such a lot of work to make. And I felt like I never did it justice. I'm going to make a set revolving around this. I've got to come up with a concept now. So that is the plan of action. So the things that I learned from the green project was that I really enjoyed doing this over a long period of time. I've been so used to doing Peppy just jumped on there. I've been so used to creating images like really quickly and like I said on my previous um, video I just really enjoyed slowly taking my time and building a set from like start to finish. So that's what I'm going to probably do again with this. It might not take as long because I've actually got the statement piece of the, of the set. So yeah it's a leotard, it's a statement piece, it's giving me trirophobia, I think that's how you say it, with the whole... I think I'm going to embrace that and that's what I'm going to do for the set. Something a bit eerie, maybe. I've not got a concept in mind, but I just feel like I've got some simmering, simmering concepts. Something's going to come through soon, so... I'm just going to stand and stare at this today and come up with something that I can make out of this. I really want a yellow backdrop, of course, because I feel like the green one just hit the nail on the head with what I wanted and I feel like I can go again but with yellow. I cannot wait to shoot this again. Eek. I wanted to open this package with you. I have bought some prints. This table is wobbly. That's better. Okay so I decided that I really wanted to create a big print of my green project. So I decided to test out some of their papers which I've not used before. So we've got a few different ones and I bought a tester pack, chose my favorite ones and I, de I decided to order an eight by 10 print of each paper. 
so that I could have a look at the textures and then when I decide which paper I like the most because I want it to have the vibrant green but also look maybe, I don't know, I'm not sure what my vibe is right now. I've not seen these yet, I've just, I'm just opening them up on camera with you. And I've had them for about a week now and I really wanna, I really wanna dive in. So, ooh, this is interesting. Oh my God. Oh, that one's got a dent in it. So is that one? That's annoying. Oh well, if these are just tests. Oh no, not that one. Oh God, no. Ooh. So this is a Kodak metallic print. And just for reference, this is the actual color that I wanted, I don't know if you can tell. That one's the gloss, I think. And this one I absolutely loved on the tester, but no, skin tones are not good on that one. So this one is the pearl, which I actually really like. It's really nice, that one. It's very vibrant green. This is the luster, which is one that I usually get. It's got a like slight texture, but also it's very crisp print. So that one's the luster. So this is the Permajet Alpha 310. Let me get it open. Good deal. Reveal it to you first. What do we think? I can't see it yet. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it's very matte. Oh, I quite like it. I really like that. I like it with no shine. I think I liked this one, but it's just got such a shine on it. It's obviously gloss. And then again, going back to that one, that is, I mean, you can see the difference in color. Nah, that one's not working, is it? I like the texture and the tone of the colours. It's not exactly the colours that I wanted. So this one is the Permajet Portrait White. Another reveal to you. Ooh, what do you think? So this one, ooh, I prefer that colour. This is a gold silk. I'm not even sure if I'm liking any of these. It's really hard, this. Ooh, ooh. See, the tones are just not there, are they? There's a tractor. I like the texture, but the color is off. This color is giving me, mm, don't know. It's really hard. See, I really like that. That one I just look dead on my legs. This one is Han Mule Photo Rag 308. I like that one. That one's a bit better. I'm not bothered about getting my fingers all over these because these are just test prints, so. I'm not sure about that one either. And then finally, he's gonna bark because there's a person. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is Museum Heritage 310. Roughly all of these prints were about seven pound each, I think. Hmm, quite like that one actually. See, this is my problem. Luster always wins with colour. I'll put on screen which one's which, but let me know which one you prefer. See, this one's nice, but my legs look a bit dark and I feel like I look a bit dead on that one. I'm not liking the colour tone of my legs. This one I look even more dead. I mean I don't mind it but my face just looks dead. This one's the pearl which I really loved on the tester. And then this one's luster which I've always loved. This one's nice. That one is the Permajet gold silk. But then yeah, look, that colour is just so much better. Let me put that next to each other. I prefer this colour. I'm really not sure how successful that was because I'm not loving them. But maybe I just need to look at them for a lot longer. I've got a few places where I'd like to test out before I like make a decision on what kind of paper that I like. But I feel like I need to either change settings or do something different. But my favorite so far is the pearl and the luster, which I always seem to go for. So these are my favorite ones. My least favorite is this one because the color is just way off. It's like a muddy brownie green, as you can see. These more thicker papers, I don't know, I'm just not liking them as much. Color's very off, but I feel like they've just not got it right on these ones. Who knows? We'll uh, think again on that one. But now I need to package some USB packages. I've got three to do and then I've got two on the way. So they will be packaged up and then I'm done for the year apart from one wedding in December. So I'm gonna package those up now and go take them to the post office. I'm just really going back to just luster or the pearl because they are hitting the nail on the head with the colors. Maybe I'll just go for something like that. Oh well, 
better luck next time. I'll give it another go.